What's up you guys? So today is the morning of my LASIK surgery. <sighs> How am I feeling? Um, I'm feeling okay. I'm, I feel like I'm avoiding the reality. Um, a little, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's a whole laser going in your eye, but, um, I think everything just, you know, I'm pretty sure everything will come out good. I'm just going to remain positive. Um, I think for me today has just been a day of catching up on things I want to do because I don't know how I'll be feeling later today, tomorrow, possibly into the weekend. So if you can hear the background, I have the laundry going. I, ju I just finished washing our sheets um, and pretty much just trying to get the little things done. And I figured I could have my hubby do it, but I'm on vacation, so I might as well just get certain little things done. And I edited two videos, so I have one that's premiering today, and then I have another one premiering tomorrow. So, kind of got those things in line, and then I'm going to pretty much just go about my normal routine, take my dog on her walk, because I won't be able to go for the next couple days, and try to eat, shower, you know, kind of get myself together. My appointment's at 3 o'clock, and it's only, it's about 11, yeah, it's 11.45 on the dot right now, so I still have a couple hours um, but we'll likely be leaving here about two o'clock. So that gives me a good solid two hours to get everything I need to get done. And yeah, so we'll be going about the day. So I don't want to make this super long. I just wanted to open it up and kind of say my last goodbyes. This will be my last, very last clips with my glasses. I'll try to capture a video as we are on our way to the location. And I will try to capture video when we leave, I don't know that I'll be the one doing it. Um, it may have to end up being through my phone. So we'll see. But I invite you all on this journey and keep on watching. <laughs> So we're out here sitting in front of the place. No, I mean. Rudy. Mm. My son's in the back. So we're waiting. They can't fill their weight room right now because of COVID. So they're going to give me a call when it's time, when I can go inside. A little nervous, but I think... cutting your eyes open while you're just staring <laughs> at them. They're not going to cut my eye open, but um, they're going to scrape it. Scrape it. <laughs> For that 20, 20 So I'll million. try to capture video after. If not, I might have to have you, little Rudy, capture with my um, cool glasses. Bring <laughs> camera? No. Oh. You have your phone. But yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Do you guys hear that? I'm a little nervous. That's the sound. <sighs> but everything so far is going good. A little nervous, but excited. From what I hear, I'll be down for about a day and a half, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, uh -huh. so I just got out. Um, she said I don't really have to wear these because it's not really bright, but I'm going to want to, and I can already feel my eyes feel really, really, um, you can tell I look like I'm crying. One of the um, girls that I followed or I saw her video said to bring tissue, and I could see why. So I'm starting to feel, it just feels like when you're crying, and you have like, um, when you're cutting onions and you just can't control it, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Um, so I'll talk about the surgery more in depth, but um, it, everything was really quick, doctor, everybody's really cool. Um, but the right eye was the most uncomfortable than the left. The left was quick, I don't know if it's because I already knew what was going to happen, but I think the hardest part was trying to keep your eye open um, while they were doing the, the procedure. But as soon as I sat up, I could see the clock and I can actually read the, the words on the clock, which is pretty cool. So I already took one coating about 45 minutes ago, Tylenol coating, and then I just took a second one. They told me to take it before I got home just so that um, the numbing, she said it kicks in right away, but it also goes away real quickly. So she's like, you'll want to make sure that you go straight home and try to go straight to sleep and to put uh, frozen peas on the eyeball mm. or uh, <laughs> like I could get a wet rag and put it in the freezer something cold and or 
I have a little, uh, those little spa like gel pads that I'm going to try, um, to use, but yeah, I'll also be coming back on Saturday for my follow-up and in that appointment, they're going to put temporary plugs so that my eyes don't get super dry, mm -hmm. but I have all my, um, medication and everything that I've been prescribed and how I'm supposed to use them. So I'm going to get off here because I'm not supposed to be really focusing on anything. Hey guys, um, it's been about an hour. I'm finally home. I feel not comfortable. I feel very uncomfortable. The ride home was, it wasn't bad because luckily we were in carpool. But because I took the Tylenol, I did eat on the way there. I had one Tylenol with codeine while we were doing the paperwork process. And then I took another one as recommended right after the procedure. And I feel like that made me a little nauseous just with being a, you know, passenger. Um, right now, I can't really open my eyes. Um, which, if you notice, I'm in a dark room. I could barely open my eyes right now. It just feels like somebody poked my eyes. And they just keep watering and just the pressure in the forehead area from I think naturally your eyes want to like force themselves open, but then it feels like Like I said like somebody poked your eye um, It's just it's hard because you can't control the feeling like it's not pain, but it's not comfort. It's just uh, very uncomfortable Um I try to lay down, having my eyes closed doesn't really help, opening them up clearly doesn't help. It's just this burning sensation and I want to be able to fall asleep but I can't because it's so uncomfortable. Um, they recommended putting cold compresses on my eyes so I have these little gel things but they're so cold. So I, I notice that if I just do it on my eyelid it kind of helps. Um, I feel like them being directly on the eyeball only makes the sensation worse. I don't know. It's weird. <sighs> this is not cool. It's going to be a long night. What's up, you guys? It's super dark in here. I apologize. Um, I'm even covering my face as I record this because the brightness of the phone is uncomfortable. Um, it's 618, so it's been about two hours. And the hubby went to the store to get me some Tylenol DM or PM, which, whatever it is, the one that helps you sleep. Because even though I had the Tylenol with codeine, um, that's not really helping put me to sleep. And I need to sleep so that I can stop fidgeting. I feel like the hard part right now is the fact that it sounds like I'm crying. And my nose is super congested because of the the sinuses that are, you know, that are connected to your eyesight. And so that's the tough part. It's like I'm finding it hard to even breathe now. So I'm like, great. I'm going to have to try to figure this out. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I just wanted to do a quick, quick update. I had finally started falling asleep and then... My kids came home from picking up dinner with my husband and I heard the door slam and it just like, it's like I wasn't really asleep. I was like in a, just kind of a mid, what is that? I don't even know what that's called when you're like halfway asleep, but you're not asleep. It's weird. Anyways, I'm going to get off of here because this light is bothering me and I'll check in again later. What's up you guys? Um, it's 6 a.m. the day after my surgery, so it's been a little over 12 hours. I am happy to report I was actually able to sleep. I think part of that was because I had my Tylenol yesterday. I took my Tylenol at 9.30 at night, and then I slept for a solid at least an hour. Then I woke up out of nowhere and uncomfortable as I have been. I had a snack and then I took a Tylenol um, PM. I only took one because I didn't want to take the two and risk overdose or anything like that. I think that helped because after 
probably like around midnight. I just completely knocked out. I woke up this morning at about 5.30. I would say my pain level between 1 and 10 is probably at a... Between 1 and 10, I was at a 10 yesterday. Just uncomfortable. Um, I'm right now between like an 8 and a half, 9. My sinuses, I'm still with a runny nose. I get the watery eye and... I can't really be in light for too long. This is just a, um, a small, my ring light, but I have it at the lowest setting. Still able to navigate, like I went downstairs and grabbed a banana because I'm gonna have to take my um, my Tylenol. I just took my eye drops this morning. I'm gonna do them at cycles of every six hours. So I'll be doing six, 12, six, and 12. Since I have to do them four times a day. Just finished my banana, drinking OJ. The doctor said to drink vitamin C for the, you know, like with orange juice because it helps the healing um, speed up. And so I've been doing that with water, along with, you know, water. And I'm gonna take my Tylenol with codeine. Um, I don't know that I'll take the PM. I'm gonna try to just fall back asleep right now. I already covered up my, my little windows behind me. I don't know if you can see that. I know it's very faint or very dark right now. But I covered the two windows with the two pillows I have on one of my upstairs loft couches and they fit perfectly. Um, I do have a big window that's next to the bed. Um, but I think as long as I face the opposite direction, I should be okay. And I have the blinds closed, of course. I just don't have blackout curtains on him. And um, I'm going to do my best in just keeping him under my blankets. Yeah, you guys, so uh, I can't really open my eyes. They're just very watery. Um, so yeah, I'll come back later. What's up, you guys? Wow, I look like straight crap. You see this? <laughs> My eyes are so swollen. <sighs> but I'm able to at least open my eyes a little bit, even though with lighting, I have the window literally right in front of me. The blinds are closed, of course, but um, I'm able to see... Well, I'm able to see stuff. I don't know how clear it is. I can't keep my eyes long enough to really be able to try to focus on anything right now. It's about 9.15 this morning, so I'm not due for any pain meds for a while. Um, my eye drops for a couple more hours, and it's pretty much just watery. Um, it's not as runny. Like yesterday, it was like I was crying every time, and my sinuses are getting better, thankfully. So I'm able to at least sleep. Um, the pain is still there, but I would say compared to this morning, it's probably down to about a about a six. It's not as bad. It's just it just feels like kind of like I have uh, dirt in my eyes, and like when you go out in the sun and it's super bright, and so you gotta like you know cover yourself. That's kind of how I feel. But <sighs> I'm just glad it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Um, they did recommend that I cover my eyes with like a cold, um, it's like wet rag on my eyes. It's the best I can do. Um, I also had these little gel pads that were frozen. But the problem is when they're frozen, they're hard. And my, I don't know how people even do the frozen peas and all that because my eyeballs you know, they, they protrude. I don't know if that's just me, but I mean, they're my eyes. And when you put something like that on them, it's, they say your eyelid is scraping your cornea, which is why it hurts, obviously. Um, so to put something heavy on it like that is just not helping, which is probably why my eyes are still swollen. So I'm like, well, it's just going to have to be, <laughs> but that's where we're at today, you guys. So, all right. So this is what, my surgery was probably about 4-ish, and it's now 9 a.m. the next day, so it's well over 12 hours, but not quite 24 yet. What's up, you guys? I know I don't look that much better, but I feel a lot better. I think a lot of it is just the swelling is what's making it look bad, um, and of course the constant not being able to really see. Um, I'm able to look at my screen without it hurting too much. I just got to do it in small little um, bits. 
<clears throat> and I'm not doing it by choice, but I found um, an email, something important that I had to take care of, and there's like a deadline on it, and I'm thinking, great. So not the best thing to be doing right now, but I was able to at least look at my screen without it fully burning my eyeball. Um, I showered. I had my eye drops about, uh, I want to say about two hours ago. And at this point, just kind of waiting. I think we're going to have dinner popped in the oven shortly and I should be able to eat. But I just plan to pretty much stay in my room. Um, I was tired of laying, so I kind of got up and that's why I showered and changed and just to kind of freshen up. Obviously, I didn't wash my hair. I didn't want to risk any water or soap getting in my eyes, obviously. But um, I kind of just pat washed around my face and then... Um, I've had these uh, makeup wipes that I have that oh, it just makes it feel so much better especially because they're cold so like when I do get around my eye it feels good like I said it's just it's just a little under 24 hours check-in and feeling a lot better like kind of looking forward to see what happens tomorrow's appointment and go from there all right guys so it's literally been 24 hours at this point um, my eyes are still very much swollen I know it's like nothing really has changed since the last check-ins um, but I managed to fill out a form that I needed to get and scan it over to the folks um, that I'm working with on a specific program um, but oh, I think that because I had to like really focus that may have strained my eyes but it, it was a deadline for today it's, it's not work related but it's community based related and I just had to get it done so um I let her know it had to be in pen like <laughs> I couldn't type it because I refused to want to go on my computer son helped me uh, get it scanned and emailed over so but just doing that took like the energy like whoa. so at this point I'm just waiting for dinner um I prepped lasagna yesterday prior to my appointment and so all they had to do is pop it in the oven and I'm so looking forward to dinner because I'm one hungry two I love lasagna and three I want to be able to take my Tylenol we have to take it on a full stomach so yeah and then after that I'll probably knock out again but I probably won't do another update until tomorrow um, but yeah I would say comparing my pain from 24 hours ago well clearly 24 hours ago I didn't feel it until more like 23 hours ago <laughs> but it's more bearable it just still feels like I have stuff in my eye and I can't keep them open but yesterday it felt like it was a whole full thing of sand in my eyes where today it just feels like there's just a little bit still left in there so all right and uh sorry if you can hear my son in the background he's gaming in his room so bye guys <laughs>